The place where user experience uh, kind of starts fraying is basically what happens if either your account gets hacked or if you lose your password. And that's the aspect of user account authentication technologies that I'm uh, interested in seeing where it evolves, right? Because ultimately, if, quote, self-sovereign user authentication technology just ends up totally failing, then that means that it is very difficult for the blockchain space to achieve substantial mass adoption. I'm interested in social recovery. I'm interested in kind of multi-key schemes where you have one key and some server has one key. Social account recovery is interesting. Like, basically, this is even used in some centralized systems today. So, like, for example, if you lose access to your WeChat accounts, then one of the ways that you can recover it is you can try logging into the account, and then part of the security question is basically basically recognize which of these accounts are actually your contacts. And then after that, the WeChat ascends some of your contact uh, confirmation codes, and you have to tell them, quote, offline to reply back with a message confirming those confirmation codes. And then if they do that, then your account gets unlocked. So it's kind of M of N social recovery. I'm very interested in seeing how well those kinds of things end up turning out in practice. There's Obviously, hardware wallets, there's different forms of multi-sig, there's like combined computer phone stuff. I'm hoping that we'll see much more of these models get tried, and then we'll see if there is anything that ends up being both good enough for regular people to use and actually secure enough for regular people to be secure. And you know, if not, then you know, like we'll just fall back to everyone using Coinbase custody or whatever, and that'll be much less fun, but it'll probably still kind of work, and it'll be better than the status quo.